Hi, my name is Basti, and welcome to Basti Plays Minecraft. And last time, this pig appeared. Yep, another one. But don't you worry, we're not gonna acknowledge it. Nope, if we acknowledge it, it might stay. If we just leave it be, it might just go away. That's right, nope. We're not here for the pig. Nope, the pig can be. Pig can be whatever pig want to be. But we are here for building. And that is what we're gonna do. The first step of our building today is going to be covering up all of this ground because, well, we need space. And I've been saying that for a few episodes now, but I never do anything about it. So today, space, more space, space, that's right. And it's gonna be right here. This is the space that is gonna be space. So first off, let's just cover this up. And then we can decide what we want to do with our city. And it's gonna be pretty. And as everyone knows, any good project begins with placing the first block. Oh lord, that feels gratifying. Now let's go do something else. Maybe this thing will be done once we get back. All clear! All personnel, leave the tunnels right immediately. Igniting in three, two, one. Ignition! Get out! So, I know what you're thinking. Bast, you have a project. Why don't you work on that? Well, last time I went to the nether and I died. Immediately. Like, immediately. So, this is retribution. Okay? I want some ancient debris to prove that I can. Okay? So, here we are. Blowing stuff up in the nether. Like any sane person would do. Look at this. Up, mm. oh, Found one. Isn't this easy? Well... I'm gonna do this for a while. Clear! That's disappointing. Oh! Come on. Really? Oh. This isn't working quite the way I want it to. But it worked so well the first time. Clear! Oh, yeah! Now we're talking. Oh, look at this. Ancient Deborah. I know some might say we're a bit low uh, being down at bedrock level, but you know what? Yeah, maybe. But I don't care. Hello? Not much ancient debris yet, huh? Well, it's a marathon, not a sprint. We currently have two. I don't think two is enough, actually. I think we might need more. Yeah, might need more. What are you doing here? No children allowed. It's a dangerous place, this one, so don't don't hang around here. You know, might get explodificated. Wouldn't want that. The union's gonna be pissed if they know I blew up a child. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, are you sure you wanna be in there, sir? Sir! Sir, are you sure you want to be in there? Yeah, this is a construction zone, sir. I need you to get out, sir. Child? Child. I'm gonna tell your mom. Get out. Get out. No, don't go back in there. Well, you know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm counting to ten. If you're not out by the time I count to ten, this whole place goes sky high, okay? One. That's what I thought. Clear! What are you, madman? No! Child! I think the union is gonna be pissed about that one. Yup. Well, I'm gonna have some paperwork to fill out. Anyways, what did we find? Look at all of that goodness. We got a lot of quartz for some redstone and such, which I sometimes partake in. Yeah. So after some careful explodificating and digging, we now have 16 ancient Deborah, which should be good for now. Although I do feel a little bit bad about the child. So you know what? Maybe sorry for child got in the way. Nothing could do. Here's some gold. Hope it helps. There we go. That ought to do it. 
I am sure they will forgive me. Yeah. Let's get back to business. All right, we made it back safely. And I have duplicated some smithing templates and smelted down the ancient Deborah to netherite scraps. So now all we have to do is combine into netherite ingots, of which we get four. And then it's just a matter of putting them on. So it goes item in there, smithing template in there, and netherite ingot right there. And we got ourselves some netherite boots. After that, we do our joggings and our helmet. And last but not least, our fortune pickaxe. There we go. And as I thought, I look absolutely smashing in these black pants. Awesome. We've got netherite folks. And other than just naming, I usually keep my silk touch pickaxe as a diamond one and my fortune pickaxe as a netherite pickaxe because that way there's more visual representation. Because it's so annoying when you accidentally break your ender chest with your fortune pickaxe. Yeah. Now that we look absolutely fabulous, yeah. Let's go and look how the project's coming along. Let's see here. How far have we come? Well, not far. I'm a little bit disappointed. Yeah, you know what? I think maybe, maybe it'll go faster if I'm here actually building, you know? Yeah, I think that might be the case. <sighs> well, I guess there's nothing to it then. I guess we're just gonna have to place the blocks. But you know, I thought maybe I really do need an XP farm. The raid farm and all is great, but uh, you know, I, I've died in there quite a few times and lost all the XP that I really needed. So you know what, let's go to the end and build ourselves a XP farm. And hopefully this time it'll actually be done when we get back. Well, I know some of you might say, well, Basti, you're just not building on it because you don't know what to do. You don't have anything planned. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> of course not. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I, I, I know how to plan. I can, I can surely plan out a city. It won't be a problem at all. I just need this XP farm now. Not like I have ADHD or anything and planning seems like an awfully daunting task. I just need an XP farm. Yeah, you just need an XP farm. Don't look into it too much. Now look at this thing working. I have been planning to build one of these for quite a while now, and uh, it's really nice to finally have one. A reliable source of XP. And also, it automatically- Whoa, 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 Sir! Sheesh! Sit down! Whew. Yeah, well, sometimes it might be a bit, you know, weird. But anyways, look at this. It's a lot of noise in here, as usual, with an element farm, and we have this system here that just automatically launches out all of the ender pearls that we don't need. Which is most of them. Mostly all of them, actually. So, you know, it's an element farm. It works the way you think it works. You hit the enderman, you get levels. There are quite a few of them, actually. And up there we have the standard, you know, endermite kind of solution thingy. I think the farm looks really good. It's a nice design. There was more to this design before, but I decided I didn't want to spend most of this week just building the farm. So, you know, we do have other projects. And speaking of other projects, I, I think we should go check on that. Maybe, maybe it's done by now. Yeah, it's probably done now. It's been long enough, hasn't it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and here we are back again. And as you can see, 
nothing's really happened, has it? You know, it looks the same. Yeah. You know what? At this point, I'm starting to think that maybe um, I'm just going to have to build this thing myself. You know, it's just not, it's not going to get done, is it? You know, but I would like some armor trims, actually, because, well, um, uh, the new armor is cool and all, but it would look way better with some snazzy little details, wouldn't it? I think it would. For sure, it's worth it. Now, I've done some thinking, and I've done some research, and I've realized that the armor trims that I really, really want on my armor is basically just snout and eye. And, luckily for me, during my travels and adventures, we have found snout and eye. I've found three eyes. And one snout. And I would probably want to keep a snout. So we're gonna have to duplicate them. And right now I only have five diamonds. And that's not enough. So we're gonna have to go find some diamonds. Yeah, that is probably a good way to spend my time. So let's get to the caves. And you know what I realized? I have not been in this cave for quite a while. Not since episode one. So... Let's see what kind of mischief we can get up to in there. In here, if you don't know and are new to the channel, this is a cave in which I went down in the very first episode. And I had my very first death loop. Today is not gonna end up that way because we're more experienced, we have netherite gear and we have diamond swords. So, this will be an easy, breezy little expedition. I just want to see, because there was this one cave down here. Whoa! Come on, don't jump me like that! Don't jump me like that! So, there was this one cave down here where we got totally ambushed. Right here, this was the big panic moment. Oh, this is too easy. Look at this! Diamonds already. How many? One. Fortune 3, ladies and gentlemen. A whole diamond. Is this lava, probably? Because I don't think I've lit this place up. Oh, well, uh, well, yeah, it is. <laughs> I have. It's the same place. We haven't gone anywhere. I don't want to dig for these diamonds. I want to cave explore. I haven't done that for a while, so, you know? It's been a while. We need to get some caving done, you know? Sometimes you just need to cave. Let's see. Diamonds! Hello! Are you down here? Would you mind if I just found you and mind you? Oh, come on! Get, get, get! Yep. You know what? I'm a better person now. I can... Shit. I have better gear, better person. I will not death loop in here. Not anymore. That time is past. <laughs> and we are rewarded for our efforts. Look at this. Oh, come on. That is unfair. That is completely and utterly unfair. And you know it. You know it. Let me get my dime. I'm eating. Ah, there we go. Come on. Now, diamonds. Two, two, dime, two diamonds. Fortune three, ladies and gentlemen. Fortune three. Glad I got that on my stuff. Wow, imagine if I didn't have fortune three, huh? This would have been much harder. Oh, I don't, don't like that. That's not... I am such a Minecrafter. I didn't even flinch when I saw that one. Yep. Not even a little. No, don't have time for you! Get! 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 That's what I thought. Okay, so... Come here, nu for f***en sluta! Sorry for the Swedish there. Completely fine. Calm and relaxing. I thought this was gonna be like a quick little thing, make a little joke out of it, go down, get all the things really quickly, and then go out again. But it appears this is a bit more involved than that. <laughs> we can expect this is a Basti Place episode. It would be unusual for things to go my way. Yeah. Creeper, no diamonds. And whoop! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There is a creeper up there. I see him. Oh, there is a pack of them. They travel in packs, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd you go? Oh, got him. Holy, that's a shot. <laughs> I shot you. 
I know I shot you! Did you see that? The arrow went through his head! Get! Get! <laughs> Easy. Not even scared. Yes! Another successful cave exploring. Hello, I'm home! And I've brought goodies! We have two, two, two diamonds. Two diamonds is what we have. Not the best cave exploration mission I've ever gone on, but you know what? I think we only need two diamonds, so we're fine. We're fine. All right, with the five diamonds we had and the two we found in the caves, we can now make another snout. And that is all we need. Now we just need to pick up the other ones, which is I and some quartz. Let's go make ourselves the armor trim of our dreams. Speaking of dreams, let's sleep first. So what I want for armor trims is I want I with quartz on our pants like this we want some eye for our helmet like this and i would want snout for our little boots like this look at those kicks and the joggings and the helmet boys and girls we are officially kitted out man this is a productive episode kind of kind of yeah yeah you know what i maybe we should deal with that Maybe we should maybe we should go deal with that right about now. Yeah, that seems like a good plan. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh? Oh my god. Okay. Oh! Woo! Oh, well, you see, the thing is, I, I was going to check on the progress and, and maybe do some work, but, you know, I, I realized I lost my fishing rod in the nether last time. And, you know, that means I, of course, I have to fish for a new one. Yeah, so... I have a new one, and uh, it's a good one. It's not as good as the last one, but you know, it, it'll do, it'll do. But the weather ain't best, and you know, maybe maybe I should actually get on with, with things, with the work that we're doing. Things aren't gonna build itself. And there we go. Nice. You know, I just, I was just walking by past here and I thought, well, it looks a little bit empty inside of here, you know, and uh, did a little bit of an interior. Can't have it looking like empty, you know, so got a bedroom right here, you know, pretty sweet, good stuff. Oh, the project outside. Oh, well, yeah, about that. Well, I was going to do it and then, you know, well... I saw this house, you know, and well, yeah, you're right. You're right. This is getting ridiculous. This is getting, this is getting weird now. Let's, let's just cover that up. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. It's a lot of work. It's gonna be troublesome this, but I, I can do it. I can do it. Okay. Let's cover this up now. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Oh, oh, right. Well, that wasn't too hard. 